हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग और नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट लेसन ओके सी बिफोर दैट वी कंप्लीटेड द लेसन दैट इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक एंड टेस्ट आल्सो कंप्लीटेड येस्टरडे ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट लेसन एंड दिस लेसन इट इज नॉट गिवन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक ओके बिकॉज दिस इज द फॉर आई एम स्टूडेंट दिस लेसन इज देयर दैट इज द इलेवेंथ कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सचर so in this lesson we are going to discuss about what are elements compounds and mixture okay so before to start this actual lesson that is the element compound and mixture some basic points which are very important for us so for that we will learn a one special topic that is the classification of matter Okay. You know about matter. How many students are know about matter? See, in class six, the homework will be mostly our points cover. Okay, but in your class, some students are new. So we will start again from the basic. Okay, what is matter? How many students just rethink about matter? What is matter? See, matter means what? Anything. See here, definition is written that matter can be defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. Okay, matter means what? Anything that occupies space and has mass. That all are known as a matter. So, for example, see in your surrounding whatever the things are present, that all are matter. Why that all are matter? See this duster. This duster is also matter. Now, why it is matter? Because see, what is the definition of matter? See, definition of matter that is the anything that occupies space and has matter, mass. See now, this occupies space here, okay, and has mass also. So this is matter. This pen is matter. this blackboard is matter but because this blackboard occupies this much space and has mass okay so this blackboard is matter air is matter fan uh, then pencil eraser books notebooks everything whatever present in your surrounding that all are matter do you understand what is matter see matter means again see definition that is anything that occupies space and has mass means those the things occupy space in our is this is also matter so we are also matter so whatever the things present around us that all are matter okay so now the matter but all the substances which substances are present surrounded us that all the substances are matter and these substances are differentiated into three states now why they differentiated into three states because see some substance or uh, shape is different their characteristic is different okay or uh, some can flow easily mm, uh, then uh, size is different everything is a different and because of that because of the nature of that particular substance they divided into three states okay now see here matter can be classified into three different states now see these three states you learn already in fourth standard what is solid liquid and gases but what we were knowing about okay the substances which are present surrounded us that classified into three state that is solid liquid and gas but see these all the substances are known as a matter okay matter means what these all the substances which occupy space and has mass that all substances are known as matter and they are found in three different states that three different state means solid liquid and gaseous state okay now see now we will see what is the difference in these three states solid liquid and gas give example of the solid state okay good see now this pen this pen is in which state solid state okay water 
liquid state and uh, air means air it is a mixture of gases means oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide these all are the gases okay see in fifth standard we learn about the molecular arrangement in these all the three different states so first we will see that see solid now solid what for example anything you take okay this is a pen pen solid state okay your example in liquid what is example in liquid water and your gaseous state example who will tell me what is this this is very important you should do now this okay this means carbon dioxide okay in this form we are writing co2 element compound and mixture you will see next lecture next so that time you will able to know that what is the symbol of the different gases or so many substance okay so co2 means what carbon dioxide you can write here also mean carbon dioxide okay this is carbon dioxide so these three are the different example see pain in a solid water in a liquid and carbon dioxide in a gaseous state so why this classified into three different because they are having the different different characteristics see now this pain has fixed volume fixed volume also and shape also okay we know that the pain shape but water water fixed shape is there no because water can take a shape of any container means suppose if you will pour water in a glass then water will take shape of glass suppose if you will mm, pour water in a beaker then water will take shape of beaker so water does not has it fixed shape but fixed volume see just uh, remind this all the points because this difference we learn in fifth standard okay if suppose if you have fifth standard textbook just uh, read it again okay So now we are seeing the molecular arrangement. You will see now pen. Why pen has a fixed shape? Okay, see molecular arrangement. Okay, see the molecules are closely packed in solid state. What happened here? These molecules are there, and see any matter. Okay, if you will take the any matter. this matter can made of these different so many molecules okay but those substance are in solid state that all molecules are very closely packed there is a no any space in between okay and because of this reason solid state those substances are in solid state they has a fixed shape okay then now see in the liquid water here how the molecular arrangement the molecules are loosely packed see here how the molecules molecules are loosely packed and here see um, between what is space is there okay here the molecules are loosely packed so water can flow easily they can take a shape of any container and because of this reason water does not has a fixed shape but fixed volume okay now we will see the molecular arrangement in gaseous state see you now in the gaseous state what molecules are very far to each other okay they are very far to each other now for example how we know that uh, see here the gaseous state now in this class also what air is a present okay in your surrounding also air is a present so they can flow easily anywhere and the molecules are very loosely packed to each other so because of that reason no fixed volume and no definite shape okay but in solid state fixed volume as well as definite shape in a uh, liquid state fixed volume but no definite shape okay and in gaseous state no definite shape and no fixed volume also okay so this is the common difference in means uh, this 
all uh, three state so these all the matters means we substances are present here by us surrounded us that all substances are classified into these three different state that is solid liquid and gaseous state okay now and this is one uh, difference we learn related to the molecular arrangement then shape difference is there size difference is there okay so many difference uh, if you found any difference just write it in your chemistry notebook and whatever the substance nearby you that all you classified into three group that is solid liquid and gaseous at least write 10 examples of each Ten solid substance, ten liquid substance, and ten gaseous substance. Okay, all write down examples. Ten examples, any ten examples you write down. Okay, now see here. The next point, next point is the interconversion of these three different state. How they in three state means these all the substances according to their physical properties. they differentiated into three states that is solid liquid and gas in some points i written that what is the difference in solid liquid and gaseous okay so the first point is that is some molecules see yes okay this molecular arrangement in these solid states are very closely packed okay how the molecular arrangement they closely pack and because of that reason they have a fixed shape okay then uh, same points in the liquid they are loosely packed see suppose here this solid anything these molecules are closely packed and in this liquid they are loosely packed okay and in gaseous state very loosely packed see in gaseous state very loosely packed okay so this is the difference uh, related to the molecular points just see it's very easy just uh, remind this the parameter points then you will able to write this all the points and you can remember these points whenever anything you ask you about the difference okay so the first point related to molecules that is very closely packed then liquid loosely packed and in gaseous very loosely Okay, now see here the intermolecular space. Now intermolecular space means what? See, when these the molecules, see here, we we'll draw here. See, if the molecular arrangement is in this way, okay, means it is in a which state? It is solid state of molecular arrangement. Okay, so intermolecular space. Now intermolecular space means what? space between these two molecules what is the intermolecular space space between these two molecules are known as a intermolecular space okay so this intermolecular space in solid state here is any space between two molecules no means what negligible okay there is a no intermolecular space in this molecules okay now in the liquid more than that among the solid molecules means here means what here it is a negligible means there is a no intermolecular space but in a liquid state more than that among the solid molecules see here now this is the liquid okay this is liquid see now these are the closely packed here is a no in space but here in this between little bit space is there okay so here it is written more than that among the solid molecules there it means it is little bit space is there in liquid molecules okay and now gaseous maximum among the three states of matter means there is a more space see more space between these two molecules so it is a maximum amount okay now the third point we will discuss that is 
mass and shape okay now related to mass and shape what is the difference in this solid liquid and gas see mass definite mass and shape okay in a solid state suppose this is the example this pane is example of solid so definite shape we know that the pane shape is like this okay definite shape there is no any change and fixed mass also okay but in liquid state definite mass but no definite shape mass okay suppose 5 ml water 10 ml water the volume okay volume is a fixed but no definite shape suppose 5 ml water see here example i will show you this is one beaker okay and uh, this one is one small beaker you take okay here 5 ml 5 ml water in this also uh, 5 ml water okay see but what happened the shape is different this liquid will take shape of this container this liquid will take shape of this container otherwise if you will take the measuring cylinder then the, this uh, five ml will be here okay so shape is uh, different but mass or volume is same understood everyone this second point read a uh, listen carefully okay if you have doubt related to any point you can ask me you ask me doubt i will clear then we will continue further okay but that time only you ask if you not understood any point okay so this is the definite mass but no definite shape because of this the liquid they don't have a definite shape and now the third no definite shape okay here what there is no definite shape but mass is there see gas uh, that in fifth standard we learn uh, one activity that balloon activity okay means what air has mass or not uh, related to that we perform the one activity means air has mass and that activity proves that air has mass so air has mass but don't don't uh, means do not have definite shape okay so understood this uh, three points uh, write these all the points in your chemistry notebook okay these all the points write down and maybe you written the examples related to these all three points that is solid liquid and gas yes so after that you just write the difference and whatever next point that is the interconversion states of matter that we will learn in next period thank you